Hey guys, welcome to another episode of It's Always Sunny in Chief's Kingdom. Oh wait, wrong show. Hey, this is the artist Chief. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Um, I did another mailbag episode. It's one of my favorite things to do to involve you. Um, and today is a special day. Today is Patrick Mahomes Day! Let's go! If you have forgotten, Patrick Mahomes on July 6, 2020 signed a 10-year contract extension worth half a billion dollars with the Kansas City Chiefs. And the contract is not as bad as you think. There's a lot of stuff worked around. It's, it's, a, it's a good contract. And that means we have at least, at least 11 more years with Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I made a <clears throat> mailbag request on Twitter with nothing but Patrick Mahomes centric uh, questions. Okay, and let's start out here. Um, Zach the Layman Stan at the Layman's terms. Patrick Mahomes commissions you to do a series of family portraits. What three art mediums would you use? One for each portrait. What do you choose and why? Um, let's see, I'm gonna do I'm going to do his parents separately and I'm going to do his uh, baby Sterling. Um, so let's see for Randy, I'm going to do a tradition, <clears throat> excuse me, a traditional acrylic painting. I think it's been a long time since I painted a picture of a woman and she's, you know, attractive and it'd be fun. Um, so she gets a traditional acrylic painting. Um, for Pat Mahomes, as in senior, I'm going to do uh, digital artwork and I'm gonna make him look cool as heck, rocking that number 23, probably for the Mets. It seems like that was his favorite team he played for. And for Sterling, I'm gonna go with um, charcoal pencil. I haven't really used that in forever, like forever. <laughs> but it's, I, I only really have like two mediums, so I'm gonna try to go back to my old wheelhouse and uh, try to pull off something there. That's basically all I could think of. Um, all right, Tamala at Cowgirl Strong Nine. What were your thoughts on when he was drafted? Now, <clears throat> I've said this on my YouTube channel before, and it's been a long time. I don't pay attention to college football. Like I, I didn't know who he was. I really didn't. Um, I kind of noticed on Twitter some people talking about him and, I, I, and some other quarterbacks and, and stuff like that. And they really hope we moved on from Alex Smith and all that kind of stuff. But when I, you know, kind of researched him a little bit after that, it just kind of reminded me of Johnny Manziel a little bit. Um, and I don't like making that comparison because they're not the same person. Patrick is just up here, Manziel's down here, and take that for whatever you want. Um, but I just knew he had like these crazy plays and stuff, and and I, I was kind of curious to see how he performed. Um, but I was also, uh, what do you call it? Like the, the, the nervous Chiefs fan, like forever, you know, it just, we always thought bad things were going to happen, you know, and I've talked about that in previous episodes. So I was a bit skeptical. I mean, I didn't know what we were walking into there. So I'm just trying to be as honest as possible. Um, obviously, when he played that week 17 game, you know, he performed really well and they had to throw him back in the game to win the game. And so I was definitely sold on him then. Um, but, you know, drafting a guy and having him sit for a year, I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I, like I said, I just didn't really watch college football. And I do regret that I never saw uh, him play live. I've seen, you know, like YouTube highlights and stuff, and it's pretty amazing. I mean, he had no defense whatsoever on his team. I mean, it was worse than the 2018 Chiefs for defense, uh, Texas Tech. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that's my honest answer. Um, my homeboy, Britt Chief, make sure and follow him the Brit Chief channel on YouTube or Brit Chief XC for his hype videos. He says, how many legendary players would it take for you to trade Mahomes and who are they? I'm gonna go back to my roots. I was born in Mattoon, Illinois, a town of about 20,000 people. I lived there until I was about 11 years old and I came to Missouri and then it was just Chiefs from then on. Um, 
So I'm going to go with the 1985 Chicago Bears, the entire defensive roster, and we're going to trade them all for Patrick Mahomes. If you go back and you watch like the top 10 uh, highlights, like of the plays of the defense for the 85 Bears, I mean, they were really as dominant as people talk about them. They were insane. I mean, they did it at every position. You know, people were getting sacked. People were getting intercepted. I mean, it was just, they just locked you down everywhere. So as blasphemous as this question is, I had to answer it. I'm not trading anybody for Patrick Mahomes, Britt. How dare you, sir? <laughs> but if I had to answer, I'm going with the 85 Bears. I mean... I love Patrick. Sorry, I mean, I just, I just have to answer. Um, all right, D Nacho at KC Shuffle Show. If you could give Patrick Mahomes one superpower, uh, and I'm going to continue this question in a minute. I'm just going to go with one thing at a time here. Um, if I could give him a superpower, let's see. He's already really strong. He's pretty fast. Um, I'm going to give him um, telepathy. Um, I feel like that'd be a form of cheating, like he's not Tom Brady knowing what plays coming in, you know, through his Bill Belichick, you know, for the last 19 years before this year. Um, but, but, I mean, I think just in general that would help him, not just on the field, but in his life. So I'm going to throw him that bone. Um, and he continues on. And one additional superhero to fight beside him in order to defeat the entirety of ISIS. What or who are you, who are you choosing? So telepathy is going to work. You know, he's going to be able to read the minds and, and know where all these people are at any given time. But of course, he's going to have to have some training, um, you know, to learn their language, which he's smart enough to do. He can do it. He can do anything. Um, and as far as a superhero, I mean, Superman. So it'd be like two Supermen fighting all of ISIS. ISIS is gone. See you later. All right, let's see here. Now, this one's a loaded question. <laughs> um, by the way, congratulations, Anthony, on your, your incoming baby. That's so awesome. I love you. Uh, I wish you guys all the best. Um, this is at Anthony Tattoo You. A jealous Raider Cody has kidnapped Mahomes and tells you that he will inflict bodily harm on him if you don't kill at KC Shuffle Show. My question is, how do you kill a KC Shuffle Show? Um, so what I'm gonna do is, and, and by the way, I, I'm not, I don't wanna kill anybody and I certainly don't wish Raider Cody harm. Um, he has crossed the line with me before, made fun of my personal appearance, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the bigger person. So this is just parody, it's just nonsensical. But, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Casey Shuffle Show pretend to be uh, a FedEx ground driver and he's going to take a male doll for adults and he's going to put mascara on it in a Raiders jersey. So he shows up, he rings the bell <coughs> at Raider Cody's mom's house and he starts to make the delivery process but then he starts flirting with Raider Cody's mom, right? And so <clears throat> she's told Raider Cody that the package is there and he needs to come get it or whatever sign for it, I don't know. So he takes it back down to his basement and starts messing with it. And um, he hears his mom cry out saying, you know, what are you doing with uh, Casey Shuffle Show? So Raider Cody goes upstairs and proceeds to <clears throat> try his best to beat up Casey Shuffle Show out on the front lawn. And during this big skirmish, his mom's distracted. And that's when I sneak in and I rescue Patrick Mahomes. And after that, Patrick Mahomes, um, after witnessing Raider Cody uh, pull out a gun and shoot Casey Shuffle Show, he decides to take action and he does uh, a citizen's arrest on Raider Cody and the rest is history and rest in peace casey shuffle show i don't want any harm to befall you it's just stupid parody thank you a lot anthony <laughs> uh and i think that's about it for today's show i appreciate you guys as always let's go cheese <laughs>